smart cities. The future of urban infrastructure Infrastructure is not exactly the sexiest word in architecture. There are no star architects proudly boasting about their pipe designs or subsurface drainage systems. By its very definition, the underlying structures that support our systems, infrastructure is inherently hidden from us, and therefore often overlooked. But without it our current cities couldn't possibly exist. Without finding ways to improve it, our future cities will struggle to survive. Historically, our urban infrastructure has materialized as a response to some emergent or acute problem, like natural disasters. In 2010 it was estimated that over 40% of the global population lives in coastal areas, and much of the large-scale devastation in these areas is due to hurricanes and typhoons. Multi-billion dollar estimates of infrastructure damage from Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Katrina, as well as the recent devastation in the Philippines, demonstrate the amount of damage and human cost these disasters create. In the more distant past, construction has been a driven by localized issues such as sanitation, flooding or fire. The reaction has been to engineer systems under the powers of centralized, state-led planning and public funding, that solve a single problem at a particular time. Little thought has been given to future conditions. But, rather than being reactive, future infrastructure designs will need to be anticipatory and proactive to be truly sustainable. Much like an ecosystem, these will contain many small-scale, networked elements, that serve a multitude of uses, rather than one single guiding purpose for their existence. Urban community garden plots, for example, not only provide food for urban dwellers, but serve as stormwater management systems allowing water and waste to be recycled at the smallest scale with real-time sensors telling the centralized system how much less will have to be processed downstream. Cities will need to accurately measure current conditions and model the future. Sensors and technological controls embedded within new and retrofitted urban designs could monitor existing conditions and provide real-time feedback in case modifications are needed. One of the best-known examples of this type of next-gen monitoring is in Songdo, South Korea where everything from traffic flow to household waste is highly responsive and networked. Companies such as Cisco and Siemens are adding robust information technology infrastructure to power these emerging feedback systems. These smart grid networks will become increasingly responsive to allocating electricity in response to demand or public transport systems that respond to congestion by allocating buses, where people are congregating or changing lights automatically based on traffic patterns. In Rio de Janeiro there is a high-tech operations center, where public safety responses to infrastructure failures, such as building collapses or flooding can be quickly identified, analyzed and disseminated to both technical specialists and the general public. Infrastructure designs will not only have to anticipate short-term, local conditions, but long-term, global phenomena as well. After Sandy and Katrina, for example, solutions were focused on future sea level rise driven by climate change and the infrastructures necessary to protect these cities from future flooding. Conventional infrastructure repairs have used a robust engineering approach elevating hard flood walls to predict at future sea levels, and strengthening levees to protect against more frequent and intense storm surges. We can do more to make our coasts more adaptable. Progressive coastal infrastructure proposals, such as those responding to the annual Winna Prize, which this year was titled Stormproof, include designs relying heavily on natural wetland and green solutions. These can buffer and adapt to the disturbances through time, letting ecological processes respond, shift, and adjust to each intervention rather than creating stiffer, man-made armor. Another important component is the shift from single-function to multifunctional infrastructure. Past designs solved one particular problem for an isolated part of the larger system. Water, waste or transportation. It has a fairly radical rethink. But the networked nature of our future cities will allow infrastructures to cross sectors and serve many interests.